Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video and we are coming up on the release of Deathloop. I believe it's actually dropping next Tuesday. Yeah, next Tuesday. It's going to be a PlayStation 5 and a PC exclusive and why I find this very interesting is because now we are getting into the territory of covering games that are going to be either on PC or next-gen consoles and it's not seeing a PlayStation 4 release so it's going to be interesting to see how the PC system requirements are adjusted with that in mind. Now, the argument can also be made, looking at Deathloop, does it really look like a next generation title? I don't know, I think it would be best to judge that when I actually play the game, but based on the footage I've seen, it doesn't really look like a PlayStation 5 game of high sorts. I mean, it doesn't look as good as, like, say, a Demon Souls or a Ratchet and Clank on the surface, but that's something we can assess when the game is coming out, and at the end of the day, it isn't releasing on the PlayStation 4, so it will be interesting to see the performance. And interestingly, also, even though Bethesda has acquired, um, been acquired by Microsoft, this will be a PlayStation 5 console exclusive because the console exclusivity deal was done before the acquisition was completed, so Microsoft are honoring that. So take that for what you will. And another good thing about Deathloop, I have to say, love the three system requirement tier. Um, it's just not enough. A two system requirements tiers are just not enough because uh, people are running with such variants of hardware these days and, uh, you know, different monitors, different uh, targeted frame rates, everything like that. So we'll go off minimum system requirements first. This is targeting 1080p and 30fps with low settings, which I feel like these days that should be the standard for minimum system requirements. But it notes Intel Core i5 8400 at 2.8 GHz, AMD Ryzen 5 1600, 12 gigabytes of RAM. Wow, minimum 12 gigabytes. We're, we're getting kind of wild now. We're getting a little frisky. Uh, minimum GPU is NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060. Okay, that's a little bit more tame and an AMD Radeon RX 580. That's pretty tame as well, but minimum RAM being 12 gigabytes is wild, and then even the CPU requirement for minimum is a little bit higher. 1060 or 580, nothing too crazy about that. Recommended 1080p 60fps with high settings is what you're getting here. Intel Core i7 9700K at 36 gigahertz or an AMD Ryzen 7, uh, Ryzen 7 2700X. Recommended RAM, you guys probably saw this coming, 16 gigabytes of RAM, whoa, and then recommended GPU, NVIDIA RTX 2060 or an RX 5700, both of those GPUs are grotesquely expensive right now, obviously they are older GPUs, but with how the GPU market is right now, they are quite expensive, if you guys can hear, hear my keyboard, that's because I'm looking up how much a 2060 is, and right now, uh, there's a bid going on, and it's not even close to being done, it's at 17 bids for $530, Here's one, 46 bids, $510, so uh, quite the GPU. I believe the RX 5700 might be a little bit cheaper. Let, let's let's quickly look up how much that is because it's still going to be quite expensive. Oh my, no, no, no. This is more expensive at around the $700 range. Ugh. And that's only for bids, so yeah, I am completely not following. For some reason, I thought the NVIDIA GPUs would be a little bit more expensive right now, but whatever the case may be, both grotesquely expensive. Wouldn't be buying these GPUs right now at those prices, but uh, yeah, hopefully things get better soon. And then, uh, yeah, that's recommended. And then Ultra Requirements, that's 4K 60fps with Ultra Settings. Intel Core i9 10900K, 37 GHz, Ryzen 7 3800 XT, 16 GB of RAM, and an NVIDIA RTX 3080 or an RX 6800 XT. My God. We're, we're getting a little wild, but it is 4K 60 FPS, and again, this is a true next generation game, so that's what you're going to be seeing. I mean, those of you with a GTX 1080 right now, and I know a lot of people with a 1080 because... A lot of people bought that 1000 series GPU and the idea was skip the 2000 GPU, buy the 3000 GPU. That's a very, very common thing to do. So I know tons and tons of people that are rocking like a 1080 or even a 980 because they skip a generation or two. Well, you're kind of out of luck now because of how the GPU market is and either you stick with that 1080, compromise on settings a little bit, or you go and you know, spend an egregious amount of money to get a higher-end GPU, which none of those options sound all that great. Um, if you can finesse your way into getting a 3080, my buddy just finessed his way into getting a 3080 from Best Buy for retail, so, I mean, it's possible. And I say finesse, what I mean is figure out when it goes in stock and go wait online at 7.30 in the morning. That's what he did, and he got a, th a 3080 
for uh, MSRP, which I believe is 800 So, yeah, that might be something you guys want to look into. But the game itself doesn't have a ton of buzz right now. I do imagine it'll ultimately be on Game Pass at some point when it, uh, the Xbox version does come out. So that's something to keep in mind as well. But it's going to be interesting to assess games like this when they are true next-gen exclusive titles. But that's going to do it for me. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments section down below. Definitely interested to hear your guys' opinions. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.